So I'm looking at the painting and thinking, what colour does it need? What colour is it crying out for? And the answer is simply white. There is so much colour, there is so much going on, and what it really needs is some white to quieten it down a little bit. So that's what I'm doing here. I'm filling in spaces around the bird using just a loose brush technique um, with white paint to emphasize the birds, to bring them out, to reveal their characters um, because they're all so different. And also for me by painting uh, around the birds in white it gives me an idea of how many birds I have and how do they fit in the composition on the page, on the page, on the canvas and um, they're good things to think about when you're working on the artwork. So it's just like colouring in, I'm just filling, it, filling in around the lines and um, I can see the I can see by creating um, spaces between the birds it's actually giving the painting room to breathe and whereas before it was just so busy so clustered together and it was just a big melting pot of um, colors and clashing mark making but by just adding white it just makes the painting breathe and gives your eye um, space to move around rather than have it trying to think too hard on um, trying to find each bird. So now the next thing I start to think about is uh, bringing back some of the colours, um, strengthening some of the colours and I've just mixed up some some of my favourite colours, like the bluey greens, um, and starting to go around the outlines of uh, some of the birds. Now this creates a lot of strength with the, with the birds. It um, gives them more power, and I'm still using a just a gestural uh, brush stroke and um, it's all coming intuitively, I'm not thinking too hard about it and um, once again it's just like I'm looking at each bird and looking at where does it need to have some lines put through it, where does it need to be strengthened and I'm just looking at each bird and um, thinking about the strength of the line around the bird, of the marks, the brush strokes around the bird, looking at where the strengths are and where the weaknesses are and where maybe I can add a different colour that maybe is uh, complementary to the colour I have there or also if I add um, a slightly different tone of say example the blue, um, right, I put a lighter blue next to the darker blue and just run it over each other then it gives that variety of colour and tone as well. One feature of this painting which has been bothering me a little bit, I guess, just today, is the fact that the wings don't really stand out and that um, the goal that I originally put down on, um, on them, I mean, doesn't stand out. And I guess that's because obviously I painted the gold straight onto a ready orange background and of course they're going to merge pretty much, you know, together. There's no um, contrasting colour. So, for example, if I would have painted blue behind the wings and then, you know, stenciled the gold over the top, you know, they would have uh, stood out a lot more. And eventually I think I'm going to address that and um, because I really want to bring the wings in as a focal point as well to, to not just the birds because um, I mean it's just a flock of birds you know all fluttering together and, and the wings play an important role 
in the actual uh, painting. I'm also creating wings um, like for example one bird I'm creating it has two sets of wings and I'm just uh, creating the other pair of wings just by freehand and I'm and I'm not going to like uh, put a stencil on it so I'm sort of creating them in different some of them got their wings open and some of them got them closed and and that sort of thing and I'm trying to create you know something dynamic and not planned out because you know when a flock of birds lands and they're all eating and stuff they're not nothing's planned out it's there's just flutter and movement everywhere and there's feathers and color and everything going everywhere and I want to sort of capture that essence that rawness of it um, now in one area of the painting um, I'm starting to highlight some of the white areas and in one particular area I've really paid attention to creating a bird shape out of the white so like a diving bird around the other bird and I sort of like this play of that idea that the white surrounding the birds could possibly be other birds um, it doesn't necessarily have to be but um, as I was playing around with one of them I thought wow that's a cool idea that I've turned one of them into like the shape of a bird and maybe I'll play with that in the actual painting 